up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we got our best classes for pve pvp and just a overview of all the different classes in today's lineage 2m video before we get started make sure you guys go to subscribe to the channel notification bell so you don't miss a video when we live stream hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video if it helped you decide what class you want to play or whatever it may have been quick little note Ba ba ba! We got ourselves a new microphone. Yo, we got this Elgato Wave 3 microphone. This thing is fire. This thing is absolutely insane. I'm so happy. Like, we got some new upgrades to the videos. I love it. Uh, I'm right now, I'm currently in multiplay. I'm going to have a whole video where I'm going to show you how to do multiplay and all that good stuff. So, right now, I'm actually in multiplay. So, I'm going to have to flip the screens around. Um, because I want to talk about a few different uh, classes real quick because there are some very important things to note uh, before you actually pick a class because this is like uh, the one thing I just want to say is this game is like hardcore mode like this is uh, not for the casual players there's a lot of, of traps and, and a lot of micro managing your character so I'm going to go over to create a new character just so we can go over the menu real quick the races you have the humans the elves the dark elves the orcs and the dwarfs honestly this doesn't really matter uh which one you choose um well i, I shouldn't say it, sh it doesn't matter completely uh some races do not have access to all of the classes so that's uh, one thing that you could keep in mind is if you look at the dwarfs we have like the knight we have the warrior then we also have, I believe this is like the assassin, your rogue, um, and then a wizard. So they don't have, or a cleric, they don't have a wizard class or an archer class for the dwarfs. I honestly hate the flashing. Every time you switch to like a class, that flash, I absolutely hate it. So I don't want to, you know, blind anybody and keep clicking on it because that's crazy. But the main thing to take into consideration is depending on which class you want to choose, um, they will have specifically different uh, base stats. So a dwarf knight or a dwarf cleric may not have the same base stats as a dark elf uh, cleric will have. So you're going to have to kind of write the numbers down or take a picture with your phone and kind of compare and contrast. Um, it, some of them will be the same and some of them are very slight differences. You'll notice one might be uh, have more con, which is like health. So one might have a little bit more health or one might have a little bit more agility, which would be like attack speed, uh, wisdom, dexterity, strength. You know, you, you can go through this and compare and contrast how you want. But the main classes we have are warrior, um the assassin which is you know assassin rogue is the same thing then you have your archer you have your wizard and then you also have your uh your cleric which is like your healer now what i'm gonna suggest and i suggest i suggested this in my beginner's guide is if you're brand new to the game you're a casual player you're not really familiar with mmorpgs or like very grind heavy games like this then I'm gonna highly suggest an Oracle character, an Oracle class, um, because it has really good healing and that's the number one skill that you're gonna wanna take. The tutorial is gonna walk you through and you're gonna buy your first skill, which is going to be an attack. Um, after that though, you have the uh, ability or choice thereafter to purchase any skills that you want so the first skill that i'm going to highly suggest you pick is the heal ability it's a self heal on yourself this is just going to give you a lot of survivability when it comes to grinding you're not going to burn through all of your uh, hp potions and have to constantly be buying more um, each class has specific things that they're really good at and uh, help with your economy management because the economy in this game can be very tough um, if you have a weak class that gets attacked a lot and doesn't have any healing, you could burn through HP potions and you're going to be going to the, the general merchant every you know hour or so buying, buying, buying more HP potions. And you're going to burn through all of your uh, gold coins, uh, Aiden, Aiden, I believe it's what it's called, your currency. And you're, it's going to be hard for you to really make any money. 
Um, another thing that you also have to take in mind is the archer class, the dark ranger, the ranger or the archer. You'll see the little emblem right here. This is going to be probably your best class when it comes to PVE content because the archer class absolutely burns through the mobs like it's nothing. I, if you compare and I, I have perfect example of this because I have three accounts set up. I was running them all simultaneously at the same time. I have an archer class, I have a tanker class, and I have a wizard class. What I was doing is I was having them all three go and start a mission at the same time. The archer class was burning through it quicker than the other two classes. The wizard class was next, and then obviously the tank class was the slowest. So PVE content, the tank is really, really bad at grinding mobs, but it's very tanky. So if you do pick the tank class, I wouldn't say it's really good for solo play. If you're going to play by yourself and not in a party, I definitely don't suggest the tank class. The tank class is more if you're playing in a party um, and you're going to have damage dealers with you, then you're going to be tanking. If you are going to be a solo player and you don't want to play with anyone, the two classes I'm going to suggest are the cleric class, which is, you know, you have that self healing or the archer class, the archer class. It's tough. I'm going to actually go through. Let me uh, click on my other screen. Let me find my archer uh, class really quick. All right. Let me just switch over the screens real quick because there's a very important thing uh, that you have to deal with if you choose the archer class. All right, so we have our archer queen right here. Absolutely beautiful. You have to use arrows. That is the biggest downfall to the archer class. If you run out of arrows, your archer will just stand there and not attack. So literally, if you have no arrows in your bag, you, you cannot attack at all. And that's a huge huge thing that you have to micromanage as a player and casual players may suffer with this and uh, more advanced players may not and there are different types of arrows you can actually buy so i'm going to go over to the general merchant really quick and i just want to show you um where is it i believe it's like all the way at the bottom you have steel arrows silver arrows and then the mithril arrows and they cost a different amount the steel arrows you'll notice arrow damage will be plus four and that's about it those are your cheapest easiest to buy you go through here you're going to need to buy uh, you know several thousand you know uh, you know probably like a hundred thousand arrows depending on how much you're going to be grinding um, like I said, though, the, the archer puts out a lot of damage. You're going to burn through a lot of uh, the enemies. I mean, you're going to be killing enemies every couple seconds. Bam, bam, bam. You know, so you can really grind out very fast. And then you have your silver arrows, which cost a little bit more. Um, arrow damage will be plus four, but you also get this bonus extra damage to undead monsters. So again, that's something that you're gonna need to compare and contrast to have a good versatile of all the different arrows. Um, you're going to, if you notice, you're going in to face undead monsters and you're gonna wanna equip your silver arrows. So that way you do more damage. And then finally, the most expensive coming at 56 for 10 is the mithril arrows. Um, you'll get arrow damage plus five. So you're gonna naturally do more damage. Your uh, range accuracy is also going to increase by one, so that's good, you know. And then you're also going to do extra damage to undead and demon monsters. So again, this is another thing that you're going to have to take in mind. But you can also see that not only from the general merchant, but the clan merchant as well. So if you're not very good at micromanaging your arrows, that's one thing that you need to take in mind. You might not want to pick the archer class because you may have some frustrations. You may not be too happy with it. But honestly, this is going to be your best PVE class because you can just grind mobs like crazy. All right, now let's go back over real quick to the other classes. I just want to briefly go over. All right, the other class we have is the wizard. Again, you're going to mostly focus on your intelligence. This is going to increase your magic damage. Um, con, again, is for health. That, the only downside to the wizard is you're going to be... Uh, I think the wizard is, is the weakest um, when it comes to really like uh, survivability, you put out uh, decent magic damage. 
However, your health is very low, and I think the wizard class is going to be the one that kind of suffers the most when it comes to the HP potions. The assassin class is going to be your number one best bet for PvP content. If you're going to be going around and PvPing people just like crazy then the assassin class is going to be a very very strong class for you you're going to notice that the agility which is your attack speed is going to be your main focus along with your strength which is melee damage so buffing those two stats will just make you just do a tremendous amount of damage fast it's one of the things that the dark assassin excels in is uh, dealing damage very fast that burst damage that you will get that you don't really get Get from a lot of the other classes although the ranger uh you can build the ranger aka the archer class to uh, have a lot of attack speed as well so that's one thing not to keep in mind the only thing is it, it is ranged so uh, it can be a bit tough um once somebody jumps on you once an assassin jumps on an archer class it's kind of hard you can't really get space the archer i mean the the assassin is just going to kind of melt you but that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you uh, understand the classes a little bit better. Stay happy, stay safe, my friends. I'll see you all very soon with another video. Peace out.